Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. Today I am super excited to be participating in the first ever battle of the YouTube puzzles event. So today's event is a speed puzzling event where I'll be going up against four other YouTube puzzlers to see who can complete this 500 piece Ravensburger puzzle the fastest. So the four other YouTube puzzlers that I'll be competing against are For the Love of Puzzles representing New Zealand, Jeanette and her puzzles representing Slovenia, Addicted to Puzzles representing the USA, and Vicky Makes and Builds representing the UK. And of course, I'll be representing Australia. So for this event, we've each recorded our own video showing us completing this puzzle and also showing our final times. But the catch is that none of us actually know each other's final times. So right now, I'm gonna have to go and watch everyone else's videos. So once you've finished watching my video, why not go check out everyone else's videos as well so you can see how we all did. But let's make sure we keep things fun and not spoil it for anyone. So please don't post anyone's final times or placement in the comments below. So I've already told you that we're all going to be completing this particular puzzle, but I haven't told you anything about it. So this puzzle is called Cute Dogs in the Garden, and it is definitely very cute and whimsical. So we've got this beautiful garden or park setting, lots of colorful spring flowers or summer flowers. We've got a lovely little lake up here with a couple of swans. And then we've got uh, lots of cute dogs. I think they might be golden retrievers or golden Labradors. I'm not too sure on my dog breeds there. But yeah, we've got a bicycle resting against this fence. And then in this little basket uh, on the back of the bicycle, we've got these cute little puppies looking yeah, very, very uh, happy and looking like they're enjoying their day out at the, the garden or park. And then we've got, I guess, one of the mum or dad dog here and another cute little puppy down here. And just to make things even more cute, we've got a couple of fluffy little bunny rabbits down here. So yeah, really cute and looks like a lot of fun. And I'm definitely looking forward to puzzling this one, although uh, I'm not sure if I'm more excited or nervous to be speed puzzling it. It does look like it could be a little bit challenging because we have a lot of flowers and even all these bits of bicycle and dog fur. So it could be tricky, but uh, we'll have to see how I go, I guess. Also, if you'd like to join in on the fun, why not grab yourself a copy of this puzzle and puzzle along with us? We've actually created a form, which is linked in the description box below, where you can fill out your final time. You've got until the 28th of February to do that. And then after that, we'll be sharing everyone's results. So I think we've been chatting long enough. So wish me luck. And without further ado, let's get into some speed puzzling.
Well, I finished the puzzle and my final time was one hour, 44 minutes and five seconds. I'm definitely glad I came in under two hours, but I was hoping for a slightly better time than what I got. Uh, partly because before doing this puzzle, I had done a couple of other practice puzzles and I actually got better times on those, not by a lot, but you know, five or 10 minutes. So it would have been nice to actually do better in this one. But I guess there's lots of reasons why that could be. Maybe this is a slightly harder image than those. I mean, there were definitely uh, tricky parts in this puzzle for sure. And also when doing the real puzzle, this one, I definitely felt more nervous than when I was practicing. So I think that made me a bit more panicky and stressed and maybe not uh, able to think as clearly. So my strategy for completing this puzzle was to start off by sorting all the pieces. So flipping them all over in the box or first I did a quick rummage, but as I was rummaging and flipping them over, I pulled out any distinct colors or textures. So the dog hair, the yellow flowers, the white flowers, the water, that sort of thing, and just made piles of those. And then when I was ready to puzzle, I just grabbed whichever pile caught my eye and just tried to start putting it together. So I ended up having little uh, sections all over the place. And then eventually I was able to join some of those up. Um, I think for the most part that worked pretty well, especially at the beginning, because uh, I did try to start with what sections I thought were the easiest or if things were too hard, I'd sort of like stop and move on to something else. So like I think I did these yellow flowers here and the white flowers and for the most part they were pretty uh, straightforward. And then I tried to do some of the dog hair, I got partway through, but it was getting a bit confusing which belonged here and which belonged to these dogs. So I sort of left that and went on to something else. Um, which I think makes sense. And I definitely was planning to leave, I think like most of the fence and the bicycle till last, cause I knew that would be the hardest and that definitely proved to be correct. It was really tricky. Um, but so I think overall, I feel like my strategy was fairly solid. I'm not really sure what else I would change. But one thing that did sort of stand out to me that I feel like probably slowed me down was that because I was a bit nervous and panicking a little bit and a bit, you know, uh, stressed, I was losing focus a little bit. So sometimes instead of finishing like one section or just trying to focus on it, I would like suddenly panic and be like, oh, but I've got to do that section over there and would jump to a different section and then move on to something else and would end up bouncing around between different sections without really finishing one. Um, and yeah, just like, yeah, just, I just felt a bit, I guess, all over the place and chaotic. So I guess for future me, when I'm doing my next uh, speed puzzling event, uh, I just need to try and keep in mind to relax and uh, try and focus a bit more on each section before jumping to the next. So yeah, I guess <laughs> that's my, uh, my future strategy. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how everyone else went. I'm super curious to know uh, did everyone else have like really different strategies uh, or did we do things in a really similar way? Yeah, it'd be really, uh, I think, intriguing to see like how our puzzles came together and also who ended up being the fastest. In the comments below, let me know if you've ever tried speed puzzling and is it something you enjoy doing? And if you have any speed puzzling tips, be sure to share them with us. Also, don't forget to check out everyone else's videos. They'll be linked in the description box below. And if you enjoy puzzle content, then why not consider subscribing to all of our channels? If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this, and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.